So I am on a 21 Pilots album, and the contents of this box is gonna prove it. I want my MTV. Did you guys, did you guys hear that? I am on, I'm on. Here we are, peeps, and here we are. And there I am, and there I am. Ah, did you see me? I'm a natural. Listen, guys, I didn't say to what capacity, I didn't say in what sense I am on a 21 Pilots album, I just said I'm on a 21 Pilots album, and technically, I am on a 21 Pilots album. And if you really wanna get technical, I am kind of on it too, since he, Tyler did this whole bit of like, oh, we're gonna use the audience's uh, voice and claps to sample in this song. So my voice and my claps are in the song. So technically I'm on the album and I'm literally on the album. You might be thinking to yourself, Leighton, you don't seem like the California type at all. Just listen to that Southern draw. I want to be a cowboy, baby. So how did you manage to get to California to see 21 Pilots MTV Unplugged? MTV themselves. MTV themselves sent me there. And you might be asking why? Why did MTV want to send a nobody in the middle of nowhere to California to see 21 Pilots MTV Unplugged? So I have such a chill personality, I really don't get obsessive over anything, like I'm really low-key and chill about all my interests. So I totally did not create a whole fan page dedicated to 21 Pilots. And this page did totally did not get popular enough to catch the attention of MTV. It totally did. <laughs> and I received a DM from Someone from MTV asking me to audition for their Stan vs. Stan trivia show. Of course, I was like, I was a little sussed out at first because I was like, mm, MTV, sure. But I did some digging, I trusted my gut, and I was like, okay, sure. So I did a couple of Zoom calls, I did a couple of auditions, and then I finally got the email that I was gonna be on the show. And listen guys, I was on cloud nine. I was like, this is it, this is my celebrity era. I was on MTV, I got sponsored by Rockstar, I was getting all this free stuff in the mail. I was, you know, get, receiving stuff about filming for MTV. I was like, this is it, I'm a celebrity. You know, there's, there's nothing but up from here. And it was super fun. It was a great opportunity and I'm forever grateful for MTV and 21 Pilots. I've said this before and I'll say it again, 21 Pilots will always have a special place in my heart because I'm in the music because of them, I'm on MTV because of them, I created a whole music YouTube channel because of them, indirectly, but I'm in the music because of them, you get what I mean. So 21 Pilots, thank you. Uh, you have made my life so much cooler. But anyways, uh, a bunch of talk with MTV and I finally got to film the episode, which I will link in the description. And it was super fun, it was a blast. It took like pretty much that entire day. I know it doesn't seem that long in the video, but filming took probably like seven hours. And I made some friends along the way, my competitor, Reese. I like to think that we're friends. We're like too nice to each other, like on the competition. We we're supposed to be fighting each other, but we were just encouraging each other. I think it's so fitting for, for 21 Pilot stands. The clickies, while we can get a little crazy sometimes, I like to think that the click is truly a welcoming, fun place. Sometimes on Twitter, it is not. Sometimes it is very exhausting, but I, at its core, I love the click. It's been such an amazing time. I've met such amazing people through it and they're such a welcoming, nice fan base. So I like to think that we represented them well. But I won't spoil it, go watch the episode. But I will spoil this, um, I won. Then they hit me with this, you're going to California to see MTV the Unplugged 21 Pilots edition. We're going to like what no way uh i'm not even near california and they're like it's fine we'll we'll ship you out there and we're going we're going to get reese too you won't be alone it's cool and again i was over the moon you know i was like oh my gosh like i'm on mtv i'm famous stranger things comes out in a couple weeks like my life cannot get better in fact mtv did fly me to california which is it's so weird even saying that and they were great they were amazing they took care of me the entire time there was someone I could get in contact with if I had any problems and they were just amazing and great and I love them Come back to that whole thing about how I'm not from California <laughs> I went to the venue and I gave the guy my ID and he gave me one like a how did you get here like you're on the you're on the wrong side you're supposed to be like over here not over here but they were giving us free Rockstar energy drinks. You could take all these fancy pictures. I was filming promo for Rockstar and MTV, which was a, an amazing, weird experience. <laughs> and then I had to lock up my phone in this little baggy thing, and then we watched the show. The show was absolutely 
amazing. You don't really get the same effect when watching the recording, but in between songs, seeing Tyler and Josh set up each song, seeing them kind of talk through it all and, and really seeing such like a raw, intimate moment with them that you normally don't see. I think that was very cool because they literally created the song in front of you, which was really, really neat. I know in like the final thing and on this, it seems like it's already done and like pre-recorded, but no, it was very cool getting to see them make it from scratch. Let me just take a little break to, uh, yep, 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 yep. Look, I'm on that too. I'm right there. Fun fact, I actually got a drumstick from that night, which is really, really super cool. And Josh looked at me a couple times, which was amazing. There's a time during Shy Away that's like in the recording uh, where he caught me, I was like jumping along with him and he gives me a smile. He was also like really super nervous when he sang, which his, his voice is so cute and so soft and amazing. We know, we know how much I love Josh Dunn, okay? Just watch my MTV episode. I was like, gave him a thumbs up and he like gave me a little nod. We just kept looking at each other the whole night and I, I think, I don't want to alarm uh, Debbie Ryan, but I think there was something, uh, there was something there. <laughs> So this is love. So I went there, I got my t-shirt, literally, they gave me a hat too, and uh, now I'm on a 21 Pilots vinyl forever and ever. Let me go ahead and crack this bad boy open. Woo! She's so pretty. She's so pretty. Look at that. I saw someone on Twitter, those were shattered. I was so scared, but I like to think that I have nice mailmen that deliver my stuff and they wouldn't hurt me like that and they didn't, so here it is in one piece. <laughs> guys, I don't want to brag, I don't want to brag guys, but I did hear the cover of Bad Girls Live. Yes, 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 the cover of Bad Girls by 21 Pilots exists solely in my brain and I don't know how to feel about that, but here we are. I did, I did, I did hear it. It was amazing. I don't know what, I'm sorry. It was so cool. And Tyler was like, f like feeling himself, dude. He's like, chains on my chest, when I'm banging. It was like, it was so cool. So afterwards I went back home into my small town where I was a nobody again. The whole experience will always be very special to me. It's gonna be one of those things that I, you know, <laughs> if I have kids and that is a very big if, I'm gonna be like, your mom was on MTV. Your mom was cool, you know what I mean? Yeah, not sponsored anymore by MTV. But, but please go check out this album. It's super cool, it's super neat. Uh, Car Radio is my favorite, but you know what? Go ahead and comment below what your favorite MTV Unplugged song is. 21 Pilots, if you want me on your album, for real, uh, I do play the drums, I play guitar, I play ukulele, I know a little bit of keyboard. Um, I am your biggest stan. I am officially approved by MTV. That was another thing. I was told multiple times by multiple people that I was their biggest stan ever. They're like, oh yeah, like in the history that we've been doing the show, you have been our biggest stan. And I don't know if that's a compliment or not. Cause I'm like, okay, cool. I like won the show and I'm like a good competitor, but I'm also like obsessive. I'm obsessive. But you know what? That's fine. I'm taking it as a win. Yeah, guys, this is one of the highlights of my career, and I can only hope that it's going to go up from here. If that guy, young, bad girls, give it 